Okay, we're going to do an update on the Super B. It's been a while since I filmed anything, and we've done a tremendous amount of work to it since I last recorded anything. Uh, we primed this thing several times with urethane primer and just block it and block it and block it. We've got the body on it real flat. Uh, we come in last night and trimmed it out. And uh, Shannon opened the door. You can see we've trimmed the back sides of the doors. Uh, basically, you know, we just sanded and primed those. We'd, all, we'd done the door jams. The day before that, we've installed the doors. It's going around. We've blocked, like, well, like I said, we've blocked every inch of this just over and over. Um, we scuffed and repainted the engine bay. We painted the back side of the hood last night. And we put it on this morning. Uh, we hung and painted the uh, hood hinges. So we're going to dry this thing off get it uh, taped up and prepared to shoot some base coat on it and uh, when we get get to that point I'll turn the camera back on Looks good, little buddy. Thank you. Okay, I want to talk for just a minute about, uh, you know, all the precautions that I've taken. Uh, you know, we've blocked this thing. We've looked at it outside in sunlight. We've had it in the paint room, looking at it in fluorescent light. Uh, we've put guide coats on it and blocked those back off. Uh, you know, we've taken every precaution that I can think of to be sure that the body is as true as it can be and, and what you can see, you know, without the finish being on it. Uh, we've, uh, we've cleaned it several times, trying to be sure that all the dirt and dust is out of it. Uh, we've back masked, you know, all the door jams so that we don't have a hard edge and we'll let the paint flow in there and finish those. Uh, we went over the body in here just today, uh, like I said, little small places that need touched up or, you know, anything we find right now is the time to fix it. Uh, we've, uh, we've wiped it all down with wax and grease remover to pre pre you know, prevent from any oil or anything causing a fish eye with it. Uh, precautions that maybe like I've taken, you know, I wear this paint suit, it's lint free. Uh, I'll wear a mask. Uh, we clean the air hose. You know, that, this air hose is here just to, to paint with. And uh, we've drained all the water out of the compressor system. Uh, we turned the fans on in the booth and let them run for, you know, uh, about a half hour so that any dust that, that it's going to stir or things that might fly around, you know, we've already got those loose and in our filters. Um, with this car, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, buffed and uh, it's a, the guy wants a slick paint job. So some of the extra precautions that we've taken, you know, we put new filters in the intake part of the boot before we started today. Uh, we changed the exhaust filters so we can keep this, the right airflow, you know, that we not, uh, you know, not smother the boot uh, in any way. Uh, 
funny thing, I was in here just a few minutes ago, and there was a fly in here flying around. And you know, that's one of those things, you know, gets in your paint and swims in the clear and makes a terrible mess. So, uh, you know, I had to go in the house and get a fly swat and, and kill that fly and get it out of here because that's the kind of precautions it takes, you know, to make this a good paint job. It's hard to think of everything, and uh, just before I shoot the base on this, you know, I try to look at it one more time, and I try to plan my steps. Uh, the, this car is hard to reach. It's, it's a big car. I've got a, a step in here, a two, little two-step stool, so that I can get up on it. And I'm reminding myself, you know, not to get into the doors when I'm reaching across this thing. Um, when I shoot primer on this uh, in the last few days and weeks, uh, it's sort of a practice run for painting the car. So I know already, you know, some of the angles that's hard to get, some of the places that's hard to get, you know, across the back of the trunk lid or across the cap that's hard to reach and keep from having dry places in it. Uh, I think I pretty well got it figured out, and uh, I remind myself, you know, of, of those things and other things like uh, putting the base coat on the first, this first coat, you know, we want to put a tack coat on it, we don't want to get it too heavy and cause any reaction with materials that's already on it. So we're going to adjust uh, the gun accordingly. We're going to lay a real light coat on it to get to their first film. And uh, hopefully, hopefully all goes well. Uh, if it can go wrong, it will with paint. So I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to lay the first coat of uh, base on it and then we'll come back and look at it, okay? Okay guys, uh, I didn't quite get one coat, a base coat on this car. Uh, it's ironic, I was just talking about, you know, stuff going wrong and stuff does happen. Uh, I'll show you the trouble I've had. This breathing apparatus, uh, you know, I've used it for a long time, it's never failed. But halfway through that coat of base coat, you can see, this hose come off. It's a cramped end. I don't know why, but uh, I'm going to move the camera and show you what happened. Okay? While I was laying the base on the top, that air hose come off. And you can see it knocked the paint off of it right on the corner there. and put that big scratch in it. So we're going to pause right there. I'm going to let this base coat dry for just a few minutes. I'm going to repair those places and then we'll uh, repair the air hose. We'll start again. Okay guys, it's, uh, it's about 11 p.m. Finally got clear on this thing. Uh, it's got some dirt in it, like they usually do. We're going to shut it up and leave it in here for about, you know, 12 hours. And um, then we'll start blocking this flat again, getting the dirt out of it, and uh, finishing the paint on it, okay? So, uh, like I was saying earlier, you know, even with all the precautions, you know, there's stuff that still happens that's, that's beyond controlling. Um, one of the hood scoops has got a, a, a bug in it. Uh, I don't know how it got in here. I, it's late at night, and I guess, you know, the bright light draws them, and if there's a way in, they'll find it. Um, it got in, you know, one of the second or third coats of clear, and it just swims around and makes a mess. Um, we took uh, 
a pair of tweezers that I keep in here, you know, in this mixing room, and I pull that sucker out of there, you know, even though it marred the clear, and then I just laid clear back on top of it. So, you know, now I, I can go back and sand that flat, and there's enough clear on it to, to repair that place and uh, finish it without repainting it. So, uh, we'll come back out in the morning, and I'll show you what this thing looks like, and uh, we'll start blocking it again.